everyone, I'm back in the kitchen with my mum, Mary Louise, or Lulu for short. <laughs> We've just made some toilet bomb, little tablet cleaning things. This time we're going to make a shower spray. So we're going to put it in a little bottle. It's a spray that you can use after you use the shower and you can just leave there and it's like a self-cleaning spray. And it's non-toxic and that's what we like. So, do you want to make some stuff with me? I'm very keen to. Okay, good. So mm. what we have, what do we have in here? Do you want to tell everybody? Just, I just want a cup of hot water. Hot water. Hot water. Hot water. Hot water. Hot yep. <laughs> that's one cup of warm water. Um, I've got half a cup of vinegar, white vinegar. You can hold that. And I'm going to pour that in. Pop that in there. And this is a secret ingredient. Now you may not have some of this at home. We have some on hand and it is covered in this um, foil and these little poppy things because it actually gets kept in the freezer. You must be very careful with H2O2, which is hydrogen peroxide, because it can actually, like, it's already made my finger a little white. So it's like a bleach, but it's a natural product. You so to you need to put it in your hair to make it white. That's correct. Mm. So we're going to have um, <laughs> half a cup. Where's my half a cup? Your half a cup. Over there. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. All right, wow. now you need to hold this, but be very careful, I because will. usually you should have goggles on and maybe gloves. But I'm going to be very careful. If I tip it on the side like this, it won't it's seem to spill. Well. There we go. Yeah. Half a cup, and then just pour that in gently. Oh, oh, gently. Okay. Yeah. So that will be really good. It will take off little mold things in the um, in the shower. And then our secret ingredients mm -hmm. are our DiTerra essential oils. So what have we got Ooh, here? Let me smell it. Eucalyptus and tea yeah. tree. Two amazing essential oils for cleaning mm. and make everything smell nice and fresh. It reminds yeah. me of Australia. Makes it, it reminds me of Australia. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Mum is over from New Zealand, so um, she's enjoying the Australian things like tea tree, which is sourced in Australia, and eucalyptus. Mm. So you can drop 10 in and I'll drop 10 in. Okay. Ten. I might just give it a little stir with my spoon so it's all mixed in. Mm -hmm. oh, it just smells pretty good. Oh, I can nice. tell that's going to do good good things in my shower. So you can either use one of these bottles or you can use a 500ml bottle or a 1 litre bottle. But I'm going to make sure that I use a funnel so it doesn't spill. Mm -hmm. When using um, DIY that, I think you need to hold that. <laughs> I yes, thank you. Ah. It's, Oops! It's, it's, it's dripping. It's dripping. It's dripping. Yeah, there you go. So make sure when you're using essential oils that you use a glass bottle. I use glass so you stop. Hang on, I'll introduce. So it stops leaching. Okay. Also. So it's really important when using <laughs> essential oils, and especially for your DIY cleaning, to use a glass bottle. Yes. Why? Because if you put it in plastic, you're yes. going to get leaching. The oils leaching. And are going to leach all the yucky stuff in plastic, and it'll yeah. get into your spray. And we want to have be natural. That's right. Words of wisdom from Mother <laughs> Dearest. Okay, <laughs> and that's enough for us today. Thanks for joining us. See you later. Bye. Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs>